Why shall thou vex me? <laughs> but anyway, uh, thanks for being here. And, uh, weird intro. I, just, I thought about it literally as I pressed the recording button. And for this app, it, uh, it gives like a three second timer before you can actually start talking. And I don't know when to actually start talking most of the time. So it's always one second after it starts, which isn't too long, so it doesn't really matter anyways. But you know, whatever. Uh, <laughs> talking really fast. Because I've recorded this already. And I record, I will admit, I recorded a bit too long, I guess. Anyways, I recorded 25 minutes, which was 500 megabytes, which wasn't enough to completely drain my storage because I have a gigabyte left, which if you don't know, is a thousand megabytes. So 500 megabytes versus a thousand megabytes. Uh, I'm not going to question my phone. It's whatever. Uh, I'll actually look at my stats real quick um, and then show you my Pokedex and then my favorite uh, Pokemon and then every, all the Pokemon that I have. Not really going too much into detail about them, but you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And screw off about my storage. Um, so, I guess because it's been a little while since I've recorded my video, but whatever. Because I recorded a video earlier and I'm uploading it now currently, actually. It's uh, almost done. Um, and, yeah. Uh, so, I'm still waiting on my teacher to call. I, I'm almost 100% positive that I said that in the last one. But I'm waiting on my teacher, a teacher to call. Uh, it's my new teacher. And I, she called my uncle, telling uh, me to call her. I called her two hours ago. And nothing. And my uncle's probably going to be like, <laughs> like, you call your teacher? Be like, yep, I called her a long time ago. I'll tell him the exact time. And if I don't get anything back, I might either be like, I'll call her again, or I'll be like, oh, I don't know. And if I get removed from the class, it's not my fault, because I did call her back. But yeah, you know, um, so there's there's some of my medals, um, pretty good. Not the best, but definitely not the worst. Um, two more medals. Uh, I believe I've caught in the least amount of ice types. <laughs> 52 out of 200, yeah. Basically the least amount of, actually no, dragon types. Dragon types is the one I've caught the least amount of. Because fighting types is right there, basically. I forgot. There's brawn, but whatever. Um, <laughs> there's that. Um, oh, jeez. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, I guess. Um, not too, too much of the Pokedex, though. I'll probably show you more of Gen 3. Um, because Gen 3 is my favorite. Uh, I actually started on Gen 3 a long time ago. Uh, I, my first ever Pokemon game was Sapphire, which is Gen 3. There's Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Uh, I started on Sapphire. I never got past Victory Road. Uh, only because I didn't know where to surf at. I didn't know where to get to the water, which is doing on Victory Road. Uh, at the very end of Victory Road, in order to get like to the end of it, to actually get you to the Elite Four, you need to surf in this one area, uh, go up a waterfall, go down the other side, go in a ladder, uh, go in this room, and then move boulders around or whatever. And then you go up a ladder, and there you go. Uh, but I didn't know that as a little kid. And so I didn't really pay attention. Uh, to where I had to go, I was more or less winging it. Well, I'll be honest. <laughs> oh, my neck hurts. But it's whatever. Uh, I forgot to tell you, sorry. What the hell? Sorry. I forgot to tell you, I was a Gen 2 Pokemon. Um, I was really close to Skeptile, which is the third one. The one in the middle, basically, for this Gen. I was really close to it. But I decided to evolve another Grovile, which is the second evolution. Uh, but yeah. Let's see. Who am I close to? Metachan, which is this one right here. 
I'm pretty close to Metachain. Uh, my Lodic, I'm not really too close. Hopefully I can get an Absol. Well, this is Absol. Uh, this is one of my favorite normal types ever. Um, there's Glalie, which I'm halfway to. But there's also the other version, Frostlass, which I think I'm going to go for that. It needs a Sinnoh Stone, but I think I'm going to go for that because I've never had it before. Um, there's Metagross, which I need 21 candy for. I know exactly how much because I've needed it for a long time. Uh, I didn't even, in the last video, I didn't even explain like any of them at all. Um, I'm close to Miss Magius. Um, all I need is a Sinnoh Stone. I have the candy. I actually have enough candy to evolve two. I just need the Sinnoh Stone. Um, and then I dropped my controller thing. Uh, I have not necessarily like scuffs, but I have those controller like joystick extensions. And I took one off of my controller the other day because it was impeding my racing on a game. So I took it off. And now I think I like the setup I have better now. <laughs> Where I have one, because the one that I had on that I took off was rubbing up against the controller because it has a silicone uh, cover. It has a silicone cover that I added on, and it uh, it rubs up against. So I took it off. It doesn't rub up against. The right stick doesn't at all. So, But I took the left stick off, the, the left stick uh, extension. I took that off. <laughs> And I can play perfectly fine now. Um, this is Frost Last. I've never had one. Uh, so hopefully I can get it. Although I believe it's only female, which I believe. So hopefully I have a female snow run. Um, there's Glade. Glade is only male. Uh, hopefully I can get that soon. Most of these that you see right here, like. From this one, Magnazone, all the way to this one, and maybe even further, all require a Sinnoh Stone. Besides these. Uh, the Evolutions do not require a Sinnoh Stone. And I don't remember if, I think Mammoth's Wine does, but I don't remember to be honest. Um, I got Giratina and Darkrai, there's Unova, this is the newest uh, one. I want him. I out of the starters, I think I like Samurot the best. Samurai, Samurot, and Surviper, which is the final evolution of this of Snivy. Uh, hopefully, I can get that. Uh, let's see. I need the male version of Unpheasant, which is right here, uh, in the middle. And uh, let's see. I don't really have much. I evolved a uh, young mask in this uh, Kafagrigus, I believe is what how you pronounce his name, a while ago when there was a the Halloween event. Uh, Copalion, Terrakion, all I need is Verizion, and then I got the two exclusives for Pokemon Go, Meltan and Melmetal. Melmetal is the evolution of Meltan, uh, which is a pain to get because it has the uh, there's the highest possible amount of candy you need to evolve is 400, and that is only for three Pokemon. Meltan, Magikarp, and Swablu. To get Altaria, Gyarados, and my Metal. Uh, I'll go ahead and show some of my favorites. I don't have all of them on here. I probably should make them my favorite, some of my favorites, but I don't want to be too overcrowded. Uh, so I got all these. My favorite shiny is probably Rosalia. Rosalia is pretty cool. Uh, my first shiny was Jinx. I got Smoochum, which is the pre-evolution. And then I evolved it into Jinx. Um, my favorite out of all of these, I don't know, to be honest. Because I love them all. Gengar is one of my top favorites. If I had to pick a favorite for Gen 1, it would be between uh, Gengar and Vaporeon. Because I, I love Vapor. I've always loved Vaporeon. I don't know why. I just always have. Um, 
I never really played Gen 1 at all when I was younger. I played uh, Pokemon Stadium, I think it was, and it had Vaporeon on it, and I love Vaporeon on it. Uh, my favorite Legendary. Um, I like, like, Cobalion and stuff like that, and Dark High is up there, too. Uh, Kyogre's up there, too. Giratina, Moltres, and then I have two... I have another Cobalion and then Terrakion. Out of all the ones I have, um, Giratina has basically never failed me. So I would say Giratina is probably my favorite. Uh, in general, look wise, probably Darkrai. Uh, but in terms of how good it is, probably Giratina. Because Giratina has never failed me. Um, <laughs> I've been, I struggled at one point. Uh, doing a Pokemon Go leader, and I couldn't beat it whatsoever. And then I found, uh, like, I remembered Giratina has a very fast, um, because Pokemon, uh, ra Pokemon Rocket leaders, um, they actually use, uh, if you ever done PvP and everything, they actually use, uh, block shields. So they use the two block shields that you get in the very first, so you need something that's really fast and can actually take out the first. Giratina can take out the first one perfectly fine and get rid of its shields, um, depending on what it is. The one I faced, it got rid of it, it carried over a tiny bit into the next fight, and then I used, I think, Camerupt. Camerupt got rid of him, and then brought me in a little bit to Scizor, uh, which I, I don't remember what I used for Scizor. Uh, but yeah, there's some of mine. Um, as you can see, I get uh, all of the evolutions possible in this. Um, I probably should make an Eevee, my favorite. Um, I can't wait till they get Sylveon in here because the, I think that's what I'm mainly saving all my candy for. Because I don't need another evolution unless I, I I could level up the evolutions once I get enough Stardust and stuff like that. But I think I'm more or less just waiting till they add Sylveon. Which <laughs> might be a while because I think Sylveon got added in Gen 7. Which won't happen probably for a long time. But that's a good thing because if I save my Stardust and I save all the candy, <laughs> that Sylveon is going to be high. And I mean like really high. Uh, I'll go ahead and sort by name. Um, I ha I'm close to getting another Agron. That will be pretty high. Uh, Arcanine, I decided on giving one of them to my little brother. I don't know yet. Uh, Ariados, I just got one. Which, I shouldn't have... I used Rare Candy to get him. And then literally the exact same day, which was yesterday. Um, I... One popped up randomly. So I was like, are you kidding me? I spent a three that I need... That would have been very useful. Because if I would have had the other three, I would have been able to evolve something else for Hoenn. Um, which is the one I'm trying to do. Blaziken, that's probably my favorite starter out of all three of the Hoenn starters. Um, I love Blaziken. It's a fire type in fighting. Um, my favorite move is probably either Sky Uppercut or Blaze Kick. Um, Camera Up. Camera Up is pretty useful um, sometimes, depending on what you're fighting. I like my Cobalion. Cobalion can be really useful. Darkrai hasn't really come in handy because I haven't fought any ghosts. Or anything, or anything that Dark is good against, such as, like, Psychic. It's really good against Psychic types, I will say that. I fought a couple, I, I haven't fought any raids with Psychic types, but Darkrai would be really good for that. Um, I have a really low-level Dragonite, only because I had a low, I caught a 14 CP or 12 CP, something like that, Dragonair, and then evolved it for a thing that gave me a, a lot of experience. And I, uh... I regretted it because an hour later I got the 1211 Dragonair, which would have been higher than my current high Dragonite, which sucks, but it's whatever. And I got my high, uh, per my pretty high EVs, which will be, if I evolved uh, the highest one, it would be higher than all my other uh, EVs, most likely. Um, let's see, I got two Gengars. One of the Gengars in the lowest CP Dragonite is actually going to my little brother on Let's Go Eevee um, when he comes over and we have the switch from my brother-in-law. Uh, my two shiny Kyogres, which I got 
not back to back, but my first there's two shiny Kyogres back to back. Um, there's a research breakthrough box that you need to get seven days worth of uh, um, field research done and stamps every day. You get one, you get a chance to stamp. Well, it's guaranteed, but only one a day counts, and then after seven. You get a research breakthrough box, which is a legendary, unless they make it to where it changed. Right now, it's a legendary. It is uh, the three legendary birds from Gen 1, and then Kyogre and Groudon. I don't think Rayquaza is on there, which is sad because I really love Rayquaza, but it's whatever. Got my Leafeon, my Lily, which Lily is actually a guy. I saw that earlier, <laughs> hilariously. Uh, I need them a champ, which evolves from a choke. Uh, so I need them a champ for Let's Go Eevee, so hopefully I'll be able to get that soon. Hopefully I find a Machamp raid, because those do exist, but they're hard to find. Uh, Magmar, yeah, I'll eventually purify him. Uh, Moltres, I really like Moltres. That was the last legendary that I got through the breakthrough box. Uh, before that, the, the last legendaries that I got was two Terrakions. Um, Nine Tails isn't really that high, but I'll uh, level it up eventually, or I'll get another one. Uh, Porygon, I'm saving for, um, to evolve it, otherwise I would fix or purify the, Por the other Porygon. Uh, got my shiny Glaceon, which I really like. Rhydon's pretty useful. Uh, let's see, Scyther. Uh, I need to evolve Scyther eventually, so I'll probably purify him when I get the chance. Uh, when I get the... Things. Snow Runt, which I actually need to check. Is this female? It is male, so he can only evolve in the Glalie. So if I get a high, hopefully I get a higher Snow Runt that's female because I can evolve that one into Glalie and Frost Loss. Uh, which I'll probably do that one because I haven't ever had it before because I didn't play Gen 4. I only played Gen 1, 2, and 3. And then I played Gen 6. Yeah, done Gen 6. Which actually, never mind. Gen 6 is where Sylveon came in. I remember, because my brother-in-law had one on X and Y. That's Gen 6, if I remember right. Which is really useful, because if they add that soon, Sylveon. Ooh. And there'll be a name one. Ooh. That's... I want, oh, I hope I get a shiny Eevee. Uh, Tyranitar is really useful. That Carlia that you see right here. It's a male, so I can evolve into Glade, but I need Sinnoh Stone, which sucks, but it's a thing. Um, it's basically the end. <laughs> it is the end. Ooh, Hopip. Might as well catch it. Don't really care for Hopip or Skiploon, which is its evolve form. A uh, great curve that was unintended. I didn't. I probably was going to miss if it wouldn't have went up. I just don't think I was good on that, because I wasn't. Uh, I caught a first try. Let's go. I mean, it was really low CP, so it'll kind of be nothing around. Rip. Oh, well. Ooh, that Psyduck. I hope I get that Psyduck. Because I think I actually I need free candy, I think, to evolve Psyduck. Um, so hopefully it pops up. I don't know if it will, though. But yeah, that was all of my... Uh, I will explain that. I explained this in the last one. Um... Well, one, I started at a really young age playing video games, so I I was pretty good, but I just couldn't beat that one. Uh, I couldn't beat Victory Road. That's okay. Uh, I explained it in the last one. Um, I was explaining. I've gotten two million experience to be seen, and like t two million experience is basically I think level thirty nine to level forty is two million experience. So I got the equivalent of one level going from 39 to 40 overall, which is just a little ridiculous. But <laughs> he's a nice guy and all, but he always doubted me, which I think is kind of funny because he always doubted me. And he is a Valor, which as you've seen, he's red. He's always Valor. And we would do raids and almost the whole team, like all the people that were in it, were all Valor for the most part. And at one point, I had a third of the damage, and I was the only instinct in 
the whole thing. And I had a third of the damage. So he doubts me. <laughs> but I had a third of the damage by myself versus ten other people being in Valor. So I think that's pretty good. I mean, it was against... Uh, who was it? Um, it happened twice, I think. Once against Tyranitar, uh, which I did destroy. Uh, I done really, really good against Tyranitar. There was one other instinct there, and we done almost half the damage just us two versus seven other people uh, being in Valor. Uh, so that was pretty good. Uh, I know at one point it was three instincts, and I don't, I don't know how many Valor and how many Mystic, but we done the most damage, <laughs> which was kind of ridiculous. Then again, there was one level 40, so I will probably give a lot of that credit to him. But, um, yeah. I, I will give a lot of the credit to him. The other guy was level 25, I think, and I was level 28 at the time. And I done a lot of damage. I know for a fact I did because I didn't really die at all, and I was getting super effective on every single hit. Uh, because I always make sure that before I go into a raid, I know what he's the per, the Pokemon's weak to and everything like that. Uh, I gotta stop recording soon, but you know. But yeah, he he used to doubt me, and at one point I tried a raid by myself, a four star raid, mind you, and I got a quarter. Uh, it was Tyranitar. It was actually the same one uh, I tried beforehand. And he came out. I was like, you're doing it by yourself? It's like, yeah, I just wanted to see how far I could get. See how far, how good I was. And he's like, well, that's not a good idea. You're wasting. He's like, I don't, I don't mind wasting anything. I just want to see how far I got. And I got a quarter of his health down. Um, and the only reason that I didn't go further is because I left. I got a quarter of his health down and then I left because I didn't want to. Uh, I didn't know if they were gonna do uh, play. It was a free raid pass, so it, it doesn't matter anyways. But it doesn't matter. So I went ahead and left it, and I had two Pokemon left. Or actually, no, I had I had three. I think I was on my third Pokemon, and he was already at a quarter health by myself, which is actually pretty good. Uh, but yeah, so. I can be pretty good, depending on the Pokemon. Terrakion, on the other hand, he's the only one I've actually struggled with, because he, everything I use against him, apparently, he, he most of the time he has Zen, head, Zen Headbutt, and uh, Earthquake. And once he gets his Earthquake, he one-shots me. Um, but yeah, and that's with everything. So even my Tyranitar. I actually never used Tyranitar on it. But even on uh, my right on. But whatever. I'm going to go ahead and end this video before uh, <laughs> before my phone uh, dies. I'll delete the other video because I realized it finished uploading. Uh, and yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.